I totally forgot, just like the last time we did this test, which one is which. What's up, guys? Back here in another Steam Deck video. Um, today we're going to do a long question. Everyone's been bugging me about this question. How hot does the IC controller and the VRM get when you're charging your Steam Deck around the 10 to 15 um, percent rate? So we have our stock backplate on. Um, stock it's actually gonna run a lot cooler than the normal steam deck mainly because there's less negative air pressure because there's a bigger gap in here it's not that much of a bigger gap but it's still a bigger gap all right let's open up the witcher what's our battery at 31 all right we need to we need to lose about 15 percent all right so number one is our controller and number two is our vrm and i believe it's a gpu vrm um could be wrong uh but i only put it there because why the hell not number two is really hot well it makes sense why number two will be hotter because it's not charging okay so where are we at battery wise um dude this battery does not last long what's the matter? where are we at temp wise 48 we're moving up so 48 65 now i'm going to turn the brightness down as we charge this thing up too so it charges up a quicker Okay, 49.66. So this thing has slowly. All right, let's see how hot this controller gets. Let's plug her in. Boom. Whoa, it's everything's heating up. We're gonna we're gonna dim the screen though because it won't charge. Um, I see controllers at 64 so far, and it's climbing for these percentages. So let's go. We'll wait till we hit six percent on the charge. Real quick. We did swap out the thermal pads on the IC controller. We're using the Gelad 3mm ones just because I destroyed the stock one. These are 15 watt thermal pads. So these are uh, very high quality thermal pads. So right now we're at 68, so 69. So it's a 20 degree jump when you're charging this IC controller. We're at 5% right now. We just hit 69. Nice. All right. Looks like it's temperatures are kind of leveling out here. 69, 69. Uh, the VRMs are getting warmer, but not by the much. Um, four degrees increase. Remember, all these ships are meant to run under 100 watts as well. And your testing may vary. My Steam Deck might be a lot cooler just because, remember, this, this stock, this backplate that we have on here is actually not stock close to stock i actually could have used the jsox backplate but the only reason i didn't use this one is because i would have to cut it up to get the cables in and i'm still not done testing this thing yet before i start ruining it turn the brightness all the way down to zero i'm sure that's going to drop temps down as well both these numbers are the same relatively same now mainly because the overall system is hitting actual full heat soak so you can't see it on film but the cpu is at 76 GPU's at 74 right now, um, we're at heat soak. You know, like we're pretty much, if we keep the system where it is, we're probably gonna keep the same temperature overall. So we're just gonna let this run for another 10 minutes or so, and then um, see if uh, if our, we get any change in temperature. If we, I think, honestly, what's gonna happen, we're gonna be at 70 degrees this whole time. I don't think we're gonna change too much. Obviously, if the game was more demanding, we probably would change but i don't think we will eight percent yep we haven't gone up one temp we're gonna let it go all the way to ten percent and what we're gonna see is we're actually gonna just call the test um because the temperatures are pretty much equalizing and um it's a waste of time to see more but we'll wait for ten percent and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically turn off the steam deck and see how hot the controller gets okay guys so we are officially at nine percent freaking it's not going up it's actually kind of just dropped back down again okay so what we're gonna see now is a essentially equilibrium 70 degrees we didn't see it peak at all it didn't jump maybe it's my probes but all i can do is test with what i have at hand and uh my probes say that it only peaked at like 70.1 70.2 in a room temperature of 19 degrees so what we're going to do now is we're just going to power it off and see if this thing gets any hotter or colder um so we're still charging i think what we're going to see is the vrms are going to drop to where we kind of started off at like the low 30s but the ic controller is probably going to continue to kind of hover 
in that higher 60s range while it's charging. We're slowly dropping temps. VRMs are at 59 and dropping. Um, when we weren't charging, the VRM was at 66 and the IC was at 49. I'm thinking we're gonna be around that low 60 range on the, the, the IC chip, see how hot it gets. Um, but right now, there's I have not seen any any cause for concern. Remember, the IC chip's rated for like 105 degrees, um, and no temperatures have gone too crazy, so that's a good sign. We are still charging. Let's just turn this back on, see where we're at on battery-wise real quick. We're at 12% now. Okay, so we are still charging. We went from 9 to 12. Notice that the... The IC jumped up real quick when we turned it on, but we're gonna just wait, hang out, and see what happens. Oh, we're at 57 now. So the VRMs are kind of where we were at at the very beginning, 40, that 40 range. The IC controller is way lower than I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be a lot hotter than that. 55, okay, let's see where we are. We're at close to 20%. I'm super antsy. 15%, all right, so we're still at 15%. All right, that should be about 20. We're at 52, and we're at 18%. I think we'll just call it there. Quick downloads, let's talk about what happened here. So, when we had the Steam Deck running, um, without it charging, our IC controller was 649, and our VRM was at 66. Then we, we plugged it in at 5%, we had 70, 70% after about two or three minutes, and honestly, that stayed across the board all the way up to close to 15%, this 70 mark. Also, the CPU was at 70 as well. And when we turned off the deck, kept on charging, uh, we dropped all the way down to 52 degrees and 43 on the VRM. So that just goes to show you that your IC chip is not running that hot. Remember, my Steam Deck is not stock, so it might run cooler, it might run hotter than yours, I can only base it off what I have in front of me. But from what I can tell, your IC chip is not getting too hot. Um, if you watched the Gamers Nexus, remember they did some of the tests. The tests were with the backplate on and with the backplate off. It ran hotter with the backplate off because no negative pressure anymore in the system with the backplate off will kind of mess with your uh, Steam Deck. Even though we have a larger air cavity in here, which helps negate negative air pressure, plus the seal is not perfectly like this. Even though that's the case, we still got pretty good thermals with our IC chip. If you are fans of the channel and you were here from the very beginning, original mods, we did our compromise mod, which was basically this backplate right here. So we still had the same ventilation. This, what, this helped reduce negative air pressure. And then the very first one was this one, uh, Mod 1, which actually destroyed the negative air pressure by allowing all the air to go straight to the fan and none through here, which we did see an increase of temperatures on the IC of 10. On the controller, we saw a, with the no mod, we saw a peak of 57. And with the mod on, we, we saw an increase of, what is that? Uh, of eight, essentially eight, eight or nine degrees. So we increased in temperature between these two different mods. This one was a hotter running mod for the IC, but still 70 degrees, I think that's fair, is um, still within 30, 35 degrees from that op, that maximum temperature. So you're still safe, it doesn't matter, you're still safe. But with both of these mods, the CPU, uh, APU ran a lot cooler. Um, anywhere from 6 to 10 degrees, so uh, you, it's a give and take thing. I'm not too worried about 70 degrees on that, uh, so I would definitely still, in my opinion, still do that mod. But in closing, guys, you do, don't worry about your IC chip as long as you didn't mess up with it, mess with the thermal pads or anything like that. It's going to stay pretty damn cool regardless whether you're plugged in or you're not plugged in. It doesn't really matter. And I guess that's what it's all about. It doesn't really matter. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like. If you loved it, hit the subscribe. But other than that, guys, thank you again for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.